This shit is going to fucking be the death of me, I swear to God. So this, uh, this little clip went viral yesterday morning. And, oh my God, this is going to fucking, oh. As the U.S., I love the caption, as the U.S. death toll from COVID nears 100,000, this is how people spent Saturday at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. So I'm just going to play this 10 second. <laughs> Uh, the audios. I don't want to get dinged, but like, oh my god, oh my god, yo! For the rest of my life, I swear to God, I'm gonna have like an aversion to crowds. Like, but like, imagine. Let's just look at this. Can we find anybody who isn't white? I see, like maybe one, uh, three or four. I think I see like four, four non-white people. I think. It's like playing Where's Waldo. Anyway, this is, I mean, I, it is Missouri as well. That's also crucial context. But it's like, oh my God, I love the American flag. I'm just going to leave that. That's going to be on for the rest of the video with the American motherfucking flag on display. Oh my God. I, real quick, I can't wait until the American flag is viewed in the same way that the fucking Nazi Germany flag is viewed today. Because I know that that day is going to come. For a lot of people, they already do kind of view it that way. But there's still like this kind of like, oh, it's America kind of thing that people still have going on in their brains. But once that's fully depleted, and once people realize that the United States is, in a lot of ways, and it, and I know, in a lot of ways, it's a lot worse than Nazi Germany, right? But also, it's just one of those things where it, it, it's just like, oh my god. Anyway, like the idea that the United States government has killed a hundred thousand of its own citizens, and who knows how fucking high this is going to go, but the idea that the United States decided killing a hundred thousand of its own citizens was good, not just good, but the only way that you could obviously do this, this, this handle this whole crisis is by killing a hundred thousand people. And this is only in the first few months. When you factor in exponential growth, if you factor in North Carolina rates are skyrocketing because we tried opening, when you factor in Florida, they're not even tracking COVID deaths really anymore because they're fucking, they fire everybody that was working on it. When you factor in that Georgia, 80% of hospitalized COVID victims are African American. Hmm, that's a coincidence, huh? Interesting. Like all these states that are reopening, like the meat packing plants, just everything going on right now, it's culminating right now. This is like the this is one of those turning points where we've seen this gradually get worse and worse and worse, and then there's going to be another spike. Once every state's open, once like people like, you know, like uh, I mean, it could just be already happening. This is the thing, like, you read about this kind of stuff in history, and then it's like, I wonder how that would be to witness in real time? And we've all been witnessing this in real time. I remember when the COVID deaths first hit, like, fucking 100, and I was like, oh my god. I remember when they first hit 1,000, and I was like, wow. I remember when they first hit 10,000, I was like, Jesus Christ, this, you know, is getting really bad. And now we're at 100,000 innocent people that are now dead because the United States of America's government decided, eh, we're just going to pretend it's a hoax for like three or four months. And then after we, we're done doing that, just do nothing about it and just like make it controversial, like make it a, a culture war issue. It's like, oh yeah, I'm Twitter, Trump told me I'm not going to wear a mask. Masks are a sign of weakness. You think I'm a weak I got, got, I got my guns and I got, I got, my, I got 16 barrels of ammunition because I ain't weak. I am weak. I, I, God's gonna protect me. That's why I don't need my mask, but I still got those guns, even though if God's protecting me from microbes, I guess God can't protect me from real-life human beings, and that's why I wear my mask, because facts and logic, and I love God, and it's just like, you see all these fucking people, this is like a thousand people. This is like a thousand motherfucking people just grouped in this small area, and it's like, Jesus fuck. Jesus fuck. And it's like, oh my God, oh, it's just, it's, it's traumatizing to look at this. It really is just absolutely and utterly bizarre and I really just don't understand how human beings human beings capable like we're like these all these people this is a giant collection of people that don't believe in soap this is a giant collection of people that do not believe in the germ theory of disease at the very least like I did this poll I did a video on this poll 
And it turns out 20% of Republicans don't wash their hands. Duh, right? right? And then there's like 55% of Americans think masks are useless. It's like, if you think masks are useless, that means you, be you do not believe in the germ theory of disease. In the year 2020, the 21st century, there are a majority of human beings that do not believe a majority of Republicans, I should say, that do not believe in the germ theory of disease. The germ theory of disease is a conspiracy theory to them. Like they think, oh, that's a Democrat hoax. Germ theory of disease is a Democrat hoax. It's like all of modern science is based on the germ theory of disease. And these people, it's a Democrat hoax. Ain't not, I never heard it. I can't see him. The mess not exist. Nothing but a bunch of Democrats. And, you know, God dang it. Who the cow? I'm going to go swimming in the lake. The Democrats had taught, tell me that the, one day, one minute, you got to tell me that there's creatures that you can't see that go in your mouth and you're in, in, your, in your nose. And next thing you're going to tell me the earth is globe. And next thing you're going to tell me the earth is getting warmer. It's goddamn, you know, it's a Democrat hoax. I swear to God. Next thing you're going to change is goddamn pollution. That can go and take my truck away. Goddamn. It's like, oh my God, please just shut the fuck up i hate these people and it's one of those things where again i have no problem and real quick let me quantify this qualify this i understand that there's a problem with our supply chains when it comes to media and information i understand that there's a lot of people that just for whatever reason aren't getting this message or like i know that not every single person in this photo is someone that vehemently does not believe in the germ theory of disease. I know it's a problem with our informational supply chain, right? But like either way, it's one of those things where if every person in this image just dropped dead, right? Like in this in this moment, they just all died. It would obviously be a tragedy, but it's way less of a tragedy than them going all back to their homes, thousands of people going to thousands of different homes. And then spreading the virus to their wife, their family member, their parents, their children. That's the real tragedy. If it were just a Darwinism thing, you know, if you're just too dumb to believe in germs and, you know, and you just drop dead because of it, fine. You know, like, we can weed out the dumb fucks, right? But if it's like one of those things where it's like, not only are these people going to be either killing themselves or putting themselves in extreme danger or permanently disabling parts of their body, right? They are also going to do the same if not worse, on other people in their family or people if they stop at a gas station and like the worker at the gas station, you know, because they go in and pay for like, you know, the gas and they buy a Snickers bar, you know, like one of those, like there's so many people that are going to suffer because of the stupidity of a few. And that's the problem. If 55% of Republicans don't believe in the germ theory of disease, that's what, like 20, 15 to 20% of the overall population, right? That's the problem. We have a fifth of the population that don't believe in germs. A fifth of the population that do not believe in germs. That's going to have a societal impact. And I and, and, uh, just absolutely hate to see it. But, you know, God bless America. You know, land of the free. You know, I, you, I, got, I got the freedom and rights to go walk in the goddamn pool. But if you want the freedom to not be killed by a daily virus, I ain't gonna, gonna have to get, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want to go in the pool, you know what I'm saying? I, goddamn, your, your, my freedom, your freedom ends when my virus begins, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, son of a bitch, you know what I mean? Goddamn, whoo, you know what I'm saying, man? Goddamn.